Tos is telling Times Network uh, that uh, the Tata Group now, Tata Group might be evaluating options to buy Jet Airways routes, to buy parking slots and landing rights as well. This is after Vistara uh, got the permit to fly overseas just last week. This is of course about the same time that uh, Etihad had also announced uh, in uh, in those strained ties with Jet Airways, which had affected uh, flights to the Middle East uh, and how this is going to be impacting flights and the aviation sector. We have with us Nentara Rai getting us further inputs here on what Tata is now looking at. Nentara. For the second time round, the Tata Group is looking at Jet Airways. What's interesting is that uh, Tata is pretty clear. It is not interested in all of Jet Airways. It wants parts of Jet Airways, the lucrative routes, the parking slots, um, the landing rides, which is really the gold mine mm -hmm. for any airline. Uh, so this is the second time round. It's at an early stage. It's being evaluated by the Tata Group. So I would like to caveat: maybe a deal will fructify, maybe a deal will not fructify. But sources say that even as this evaluation process is on, uh, Tata Group is thinking of making a representation, okay. not just to Jet and his lenders, but to the government at large, that uh, let Tata start using the unutilized capacity of Jet Airways. It could be its slots. It could be its routes. Uh, it could be its landing rights, and it will make this case for uh, larger consumer interest. We've all seen mm -hmm. those airfares go up. Look at the prices you have of tickets now from Delhi to Bombay, Bombay to Goa. Uh, so that is the case that we understand is going to be made immediately. But Vistara, which is also part of the Tata Group, but, you know, it's a joint venture with Singapore Airlines, got permission to fly overseas just last week. And so the timing is also great. Jet Airways has a, a gold mine of parking slots in London Heathrow, Hong Kong, Amsterdam. Uh, so, you know, the Tata Group certainly eyeing all of that. I sent out a detailed questionnaire to uh, the Tata Group, and they said they will not comment on market speculation. But this is, uh, you know, in the realm of speculation. So I would also like to point out this coming at a time when Indigo has been eyeing mm -hmm. Jets pilots, poaching Jets pilots, those that have not been paid. You've seen flights that have been grounded. SpiceJet wants the grounded aircraft of Jet Airways as well. The government, to be fair, the Civil Aviation Ministry is also working on how it can monetize Jet Airways okay. and at least increase capacity so there's sanity in airfares. That's right. Uh, and consumers' uh, grievances, of course, would be the strongest pitch, uh, as you said, that Tata would be making for in this. Nentara, thank you for getting us those inputs. In more developments coming in, these are lenders of uh, the cash-strapped Jet Airways. Uh, they're also looking for a management change now. According to sources, the lenders have started looking out for possible candidates for uh, the top job for the airline. Sources say uh, these changes that could be announced as soon as uh, just next week. Now, this comes in after the ongoing financial crisis that the airline continues to face. Uh, last week, it was a threat by pilots to stop flying uh, if their pending salaries are not cleared. Uh, the pilots there had also written directly to the Prime Minister, urging him to look into the matter. So this is uh, yet another aspect here of the jet airways crisis. Utkarsh Chaturvedi getting us further inputs now uh, on uh, what the lenders here are aiming at. So what we are picking up at this point of time, and uh, there's a very important lenders meet which is uh, scheduled at uh, 4 o'clock uh, today at the SBI headquarters in Mumbai. Now, what the idea of the lenders are, given the fact that Etihad is out of the race and uh, the, the cash trap airlines need immediate money infusion uh, to, for, uh, to continue. Now, if you look at any other player, you look at Tata, you look at Qatar, or any other player, the due diligence will take a lot of time. It will be at least 30 to 40 days till the money from them comes in, all the formalities are being done. Until then, the lenders need to keep the airline afloat. Now, what is the plan at this point of time? The plan is to give some money to the company around 1,500 to 1,600 crores to let them pay all the creditors, to let them pay the pilots. But the lenders do not want Naresh Goel to continue then. So the idea is they will put in money, but Naresh Goel will step down, Anita Goel will step down. In fact, the two nominees of Naresh Goel will also not be a part of the board and a new management will come in. Now, who will be the new management? Now, the most important part is that you have to see that in an, in an industry like aviation, it is very difficult for an outsider to come and hold the ship. And that is why you'll have uh, ex-PMDs of Fair India, which we have been speaking about. Uh, there are names of mm -hmm. private 
CEO there That's even. Right. But the only difference is that if you look at the private CEOs, the problem is that they have not uh, been able to run a okay. full-fledged carrier. These are the names coming in, but you'll get more clarity once the lenders meeting is over today. All right. Okay, uh, Utkarsh, many thanks uh, for adding perspective to that. Of course, uh, with that lenders meeting to conclude later today, we would have more information as well.